Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz in the San Gabriel Valley. Today we are joined by Michelle Bain. She is the Southern California Regional Director of the California High Speed Rail Authority. Construction has begun on phase one of high speed rail. I want to get a sense, given that you began construction, where are the stations going to be up and down the state? Oh, that is a great story. <laughs> One of the key things that we've been working on is locating those stations in the heart of our largest cities ah. in California. So mm. we will have a station located in eight of the 10 largest cities by population okay. in the state of California, because this is part of the overall vision to create a more connected transportation right. system, to really bring everyone into a system on whatever type of transportation they wanna take, whether it be walking or biking or bus, et cetera, high-speed rail and airline. Right. We wanna connect them all so that we can move people around the, uh, around the right. state like clockwork, on time, when they wanna go, to arrive when they wanna get there. And uh, in phase one, there will be 12 stations, is that correct? Correct. Do we know where any of those stations will be yet? We absolutely do. So again, we're really looking to put those stations in the heart of the urban areas, okay. in areas where we can connect to already existing transportation. So for instance, here in Southern California, Please. we're looking at putting a station in the Palmdale area, okay. right next to the existing Palmdale Transportation Center, which serves their Metrolink as well as bus service. In the San Fernando Valley, we're looking at putting a station right next to the Burbank Airport, which is also right next to two active Metrolink lines and one Metrolink station and one Metrolink station that will be constructed. Got it. In downtown LA, we're gonna put our station right at LA Union Station right. so we can connect to all of the transportation services that uh, LA has to offer. And so will connections be seamless either through train transfers or through the train going on one track and changing systems onto another track? Uh, these, these transfers will be seamless. And the way that you make a seamless transit trip is number one, you look at a unified and integrated fare approach uh. where one ticket can get you everywhere you want to go and then you spend a lot of time talking to partner agencies about right. schedules to make sure that when a train shows up that next right, step of right. the trip that train is there and at a convenient time for that person to transfer but we've heard rumblings about the fact that there will be different train systems throughout the state metro metrolink bart and so will high speed rail be interacting with those systems in such a way that they'll be riding on those systems lines or is that simply not necessary? So we are building a high speed rail system that right. goes from San Francisco all the way down to Anaheim right. for the phase one. And those tracks, with the exception of the tracks going into the peninsula, those will be high speed rail tracks that are electrified for our trains. So I that see. you have what we call in the transportation world a one seat ride. Got it. When you get on a high speed train, you are gonna stay on that train until you get to your destination on the high speed system. At that destination point then, we want to plan all of those Which additional connected right. services that are enable, enable you to get that first or last mile that you need to get to get to your final destination. And I presume that in deciding where the stations will be, that you're speaking with the public. I believe that's one of the main sources of your time um, <laughs> as the regional director here in Southern California. You're holding public meetings and uh, community discussions. Tell me about these meetings and discussions, the purpose of them, what you hear, what you hope to get out of the meetings. So public, uh, the consultation with the public right. is a key portion of building a large infrastructure project. Uh, because at the end of the day, we need to find a way to bring a system like this through a community in the most uh, appropriate way sure. for that community. And so it needs to reflect the community's character at a station location 
Um, what we see with high-speed rail stations is they have the ability to uh, spur economic development in a way that most of our conventional transit stations do not. On an international basis, we're seeing this. And so we need to be working with that local community to identify those opportunities that are there for the community, but make sure that then the opportunities we take advantage of are what that local community would like to see at that location. And are these meetings constructive or do they tend to disintegrate into, why are you building this train? We don't support this train. Uh, the, you know, everybody who comes to the meeting has an opinion and right. they bring an opinion about the project with, uh, with them. And they certainly express that opinion at those meetings. What we really try to do is break down the broad comments into the specifics mm. of what is really driving mm -hmm. their feeling about the train, whether it be good or whether it be bad, so that we can actually have something concrete and constructive that we can work on to address their concern rather than just address a general feeling. I have traveled internationally and I have been on high-speed rail internationally I'm not taking a position, but I'm amazed at some of these international high-speed rail outlets. Um, I understand that you have been seeking input from whomever would like to give input, and you've received that input through what you call, we call RFEI, Request for expression of interest and a lot of those expressions of interest have come from international friends tell us about what they're telling you what insight are they providing in the broadest sense yeah in the broadest sense. so uh late this spring uh we request this request for uh we right. released a request for expression of interest as you mentioned and basically we were asking the international community and frankly right. the national <laughs> right. community to give us their ideas. Here we are at high speed rail at this point in time. These are the things we know right. about the system. Tell us how you would move forward if you were right. in charge to build the system out from this place. How would you finance this? And are how they much bidding? Money, how much money would you bring to this? Ah. This is not a bidding process okay. per se. This is really a request for how people would recommend or the exciting ideas that they would have to recommend to accelerate bringing high-speed rail to California because at the end of the day, what we're really aiming to do is get that train operating as fast as possible. And the great news is, is we had 37 different uh, submittals on right. this. Some of them were individual firms. Some of them were groups of firms. They came from all over Europe, all over Asia, all over the United States, right, with these ideas right. on how to build the train. And so now we're going to take a look at those, and we're going to have that value of the private sector thinking sure. in terms of how we do this moving forward. So where are we today? We broke ground in Fresno. Can you give us an update? Yeah, absolutely. So we continue to move forward with the project. You know, as I've mentioned in past meetings, right. we're building the Fresno River Bridge. Right. We're in the process of putting together a package where we will begin to build multiple bridges at the same time. Um, we are moving continually south from where we started in the Fresno area. And so you're going south first. So that's where right. we're going right now. We have a, a Fresno or Merced to Fresno right. under construction. That was package one. Packages two and three basically go from Fresno south about 60 miles. We're working on getting package four awarded at our previous uh, board meeting just this week. Right. We awarded the construction management and where's contract. Package four. Uh, package four is bringing it up to the outskirts of Bakersfield. It's very exciting. Her name is Michelle Bame. She is the Southern California Regional Director for the California High Speed Rail Authority. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's Charter Local Edition. Thank you.